ICHQ1 Stability Testing Why is ICHQ1 considered a cornerstone of pharmaceutical quality? The ICHQ1 guideline is a cornerstone of pharmaceutical quality, ensuring the integrity and safety of drug products from the moment they are manufactured until they are used by patients. What does ICHQ1 establish as the critical outcome of stability testing? At its core, ICHQ1 provides a harmonized approach to stability testing, a critical process that determines a drug's shelf life and recommended storage conditions. What risks arise if stability testing is not performed according to ICHQ1? Without these rigorous tests, there would be no scientific basis for a product's expiration date, posing a significant risk to public health. What types of stability studies are mandated by ICHQ1 and why? The guideline dictates the types of studies required, including long-term, accelerated, and intermediate testing, which simulate various climatic conditions to predict a product's degradation over time. How does ICHQ1 support global drug development and market access? By standardizing these practices, ICHQ1 prevents a patchwork of differing national requirements, which would otherwise complicate global drug development and market access. By what are some specific sub-guidelines under ICHQ1 and what do they cover? Guidelines like Q1A, Q1B, phytostability. Q1C new dosage forms, Q1D bracketing and matrixing, and Q1E data evaluation provide a comprehensive framework for this process. How does harmonization under ICHQ1 benefit pharmaceutical companies? This harmonization saves time and resources for pharmaceutical companies as they can perform one set of studies for multiple markets. What assurance does ICHQ1 provide to regulators, healthcare professionals, and patients? Ultimately, ICHQ1's importance lies in its role as a safeguard, assuring regulators, healthcare professionals, and patients that a medicine will remain safe and effective for its entire specified shelf life. ICHQ2 Analytical Validation why is ICHQ2 considered the blueprint for analytical validation? The ICHQ2 guideline is fundamental to the pharmaceutical industry, serving as the blueprint for analytical validation. What is the main purpose of the principles established by ICHQ2? It establishes a clear, standardized set of principles for demonstrating that an analytical procedure is suitable for its intended purpose. How does ICHQ2 ensure accuracy and reliability in pharmaceutical testing? In a field where the accuracy and reliability of data are paramount, ICHQ2 provides the assurance that the methods used for testing drug products, from identifying active ingredients to quantifying impurities are scientifically sound. What are the key validation parameters defined by ICHQ2? The guideline outlines key validation characteristics such as specificity, linearity, accuracy, precision, and robustness. Why are validation characteristics considered checkpoints in analytical validation? Each of these characteristics is a critical checkpoint that ensures the analytical method can produce consistent and reliable results under normal use. What are the two main reasons ICH2-2 is important? The importance of ICHQ-2 is twofold. It is a prerequisite for regulatory submissions and a vital component of a robust quality system. How does ICHQ-2 contribute to patient safety? Unreliable analytical data can lead to the release of unsafe or ineffective drugs, so this guideline directly contributes to patient safety. How does ICHQ2 harmonization simplify regulatory submissions? Its harmonization prevents the need for companies to revalidate methods for different regulatory bodies, streamlining the drug approval process. How does ICHQ14 enhance the life cycle perspective of analytical validation? 
With the recent addition of EQ14, the focus has shifted to a life cycle approach to analytical procedures, further solidifying the role of Q2 as the foundational standard for proving an analytical method's fitness for purpose. ICHQ3 Impurity Guidelines What is the main purpose of ICHQ3 in pharmaceuticals? ICHQ3 is a critical set of guidelines that protects patient safety by establishing globally accepted standards for the control of impurities in pharmaceuticals. Every drug substance and product can contain impurities, which are unwanted chemicals remaining from the manufacturing process. These impurities, even in trace amounts, can be harmful or even toxic. Therefore, their control is non-negotiable. ICHQ3 provides a systematic approach for the classification, reporting, and acceptable limits of different types of impurities. What do ICHQ3A and Q3B specifically address? Q3A and Q3B focus on impurities in drug substances and products, respectively, establishing thresholds for when an impurity must be identified and qualified. Q3C addresses residual solvents, classifying them by their toxicity and setting acceptable limits, while Q3D governs elemental impurities, heavy metals. By standardizing these limits, ICHQ3 prevents the release of products with unsafe levels of contaminants. The guidelines not only ensure product quality, but also provide a clear framework for manufacturers to follow thereby facilitating global trade and regulatory acceptance. The importance of ICHQ3 cannot be overstated. It is a vital safeguard that ensures the consistent purity of medications, building trust in the pharmaceutical supply chain and, most importantly, protecting the health of patients worldwide. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found it helpful and insightful. Don't forget to subscribe to PharmaTalk's YouTube channel for more pharma knowledge, career tips, and industry updates. Explore our other videos and